What is up, what if us? Welcome back to the channel. Today, you know, I got some of the creepiest, craziest, and most outrageous TikToks that'll make you rethink everything. So you're gonna wanna stay locked in. Cause you ain't gonna believe this. Breaking news, America. Congress allegedly just signed the bill for all the employees around the country. Y'all ain't gonna believe this one. Yeah, so they signed the bill, allegedly, where the workers, full-time workers only get 32 hours a week. And that's for everybody. It's gonna be a whole lot of struggling going on. And you know, they're giving the migrants jobs and, and black cars and everything right now. So it's like, who they really for? Because it seems like they, it seems like, man, it's making it harder for us. For real. Y'all leave a comment below what y'all think about this decision, allegedly decision that they done made 32 hours a week. Peace, love, and light. This video is fake and scripted for entertainment purposes only, for educational purposes only. That's weird. I ain't even know that. Why the hell they sign a bill like that? And you know we conditioned. We conditioned to, to even think that losing seven or eight hours a week is a death sentence because we have been so used to getting 40 and we're so used to be, to having like a slave mentality that it's like no master don't take away our hours you get what i'm saying it's crazy man what y'all think though The platypus is probably the weirdest animal that exists on Earth. It's like a duck mixed with a beaver with an otter's feet. They're also a mammal that lays eggs. And they're venomous, which is also weird for a mammal. And the way their venom works is wild. It's found in their back legs. And basically, they just kick you and drive their spurs into you, which injects the venom. And scientists wow. pretty much know nothing about their venom. There's no cures to it. And get this, when they jump in water, their eyes and their ears shut down. So they're pretty much deaf and blind. But it's cool because they can connect to the electromagnetic field of any creature. So they can hunt creatures by detecting their electrical pulses. Call me crazy, but that that's a superpower. They also have no teeth, so when they need to chew, they just throw rocks in their mouth to grind up their food. And I don't know where the food goes, because they also don't have a stomach. Oh, and they also don't have nipples, but they have milk. It just comes out of their armpits. Moral what? of the story, if you ever feel weird like you're an oddball, just remember, the platypus exists. And as always, follow for more facts. Yeah, I ain't know. I ain't know none of that. <laughs> wow. Guys, check out the video. What we're looking at here... It's an object by the moon, but not only is the object, it's a luminescent object that sheds little pieces of light out of its craft. As you can see, it shed an actual second little orb that came out of the craft. That's the normal speed of the original video, but uh, we put it in slow motion so you guys could get a better look at this. But um, yeah, guys, amazing footage of a craft floating near the surface of the moon but yeah guys what do you guys think about this please comment below don't forget to repost share and like the video thanks for watching You know, that kind of, that might be, I'm not for sure, but that might be Artemis, uh, the satellite or the shuttle that they sent into outer space um, before NASA sent into outer space anyway. Before it actually came back to Earth, it took a pass around the moon. You can actually, there's an entire video of it. I mean, going around the moon, losing transmission, getting transmission back, and then uh, there's a part where it's entering the atmosphere uh you got some flat earthers who took the video and, and and made it seem like that it was hitting the firmament actually it was coming back into the atmosphere but yeah it's wild man that video has been taken and flipped so many times but that's what that looked like i'm not sure if that's what that is it may not be it may not be but that's that's just an idea hey guys so i was listening to sloan bella's most recent live and i couldn't help but agree with what she was saying she was talking about ryan garcia and how she believes 
he's glitching. If you know, you know. Every now and then, you see a celebrity break out, they wild out, they start just acting erratically, they just start saying a bunch of things, and to the regular folks, oh, they're crazy, they're mentally ill, and they need help. Sloan Bella also brought up a very interesting point. She said that when Ryan stated that they held him down and made him watch, and they brought him to where they brought him to BG, when they took him there, the, the goal was to get him to participate in whatever they were participating in so they could allegedly blackmail him. All of this is alleged, by the way. This is to allegedly blackmail him. And when he didn't participate and he broke code, we got the Ryan Garcia that we see right now. Ryan Garcia, I didn't know till you guys said, hear what he said, but he is, he is MK Ultra. You can tell because he's glitching. Ryan Garcia, okay, yes, Ryan man. Garcia, who I didn't know who he was, but he was talking about Bohemian Grove and he's talking about them children and wanting him to participate. The reason that they want him to participate is so they can blackmail him. Hollywood is run on blackmail. You are not going out on camera yeah. to have a personal opinion so about it anything, you. okay, because they have an agenda. Right. So it's really interesting. The inversion is the Baphomet agenda. Daisy, he's not next. Bieber's next. But I told you about Aaron Carter before that happened. Told you about P. Diddy. Bieber, then Jay-Z. They still need Jay-Z right now. Wow. And you know what's crazy? This lady has been correct about most of the stuff that she say. So, you know, kind of makes me feel like, who is she? Like, I believe in, 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 in psychic. I believe in psychic powers and everything. I, I believe in, you know, tarot in, in, a, in a sense to a certain extent. But she just knows. She's just way too on the money, man. She's way too on point. And. I don't know, man. It just makes me think she's working for them too. Like you don't know who's being used to throw, throw you off. You don't know. So you can't trust nobody. You don't trust not a soul. I mean, I listen to her and, 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 and I watch and I see if the things that she's saying is on point, but then I'd be like, it's too on point. Ain't nothing that perfect, man. There is nothing that perfect, but I mean, we shall see. She said Bieber's next. So we shall see. This is a, Yo, a, another angle. The, bro, you see, what, look at that, bro. Like, the, you seen when he knocked the, no uh, shot, wait a minute. No shot. That wasn't no explosions, bro. Watch this. Gosh. Yo. Look at, he the, hit the pillar. What? Yo. What the? Did you see he hit the what, pillar, one of the pillars? What the, One time. Look at the, the pillar yo, just went down. You see that? Wasn't no explosion, bro. Wasn't no explosion at all. What the? No shot. No shot. And that's God. real time. Dang, bro. No way in hell they say I just it was, witnessed that. Bro, no and it was way. workers on the bridge at that time, no man. Way. Prayers up to the families, the man. The key bridge, the... Francis Scott Key Bridge just got hit by a cargo ship. Wow. What the absolute. You said what? You said Ryan Garcia didn't say what? I'm sorry, you said Ryan Garcia didn't say what now? He came out and confirmed it himself. As y'all know, during that time, I didn't tweet and was writing a bunch of stuff. My tweets was constantly deleted. I was showing proof. And then he continues to say, I would say that it is not me that knows, but God, the Holy Spirit speaks to me. He goes along to say that he will pray for the people that's in Baltimore. Then, like I said once before, his tweets have got deleted and not by his doing. You said it right there. See, I was just waiting for him to come and confirm what we already been saying. That's the problem with AI nowadays is it got everybody thinking that everything fake. Well, everything you see, it ain't fake. Once again, the prediction that Ron Garcia said was not confirmed by him himself. I can't tell you if he actually predicted it or if he knew some other type of way. But what I do know is he made this post before it happened.
Y'all let me know what y'all think about Ron Garcia confirming his predictions on Twitter in the comments. Like and follow for more wisdom. Stay tuned. Nah, I'm going to tell you what it is. They say Ryan Garcia is glitching. Uh, not glitching. He's definitely been in MK Ultra. And let me break it down to y'all real quick, right? So he probably was... He, he already said they took him to Bohemian Grove, right? They showed him some things. They discussed a lot of the plans that they had, right? Because they thought he would keep it in secrecy, right? But he went home after that, and it was just bothering him that all these things were going to happen because he's so good and he's so pure and that he just his, his conscience wouldn't allow him to keep lying. So he started spewing this stuff all over the Internet, and they started to call him crazy, <clears throat> Then when the Elise saw that he was doing too much, they said, you know what? Let's get him and let's give him a little shock therapy. Let's MK Ultra him, calm him down. That worked for a little bit, but he's still continuing to do stuff. And yes, he also said that they're going to get rid of him. And what you're going to see is his clone, right? I don't know about the clone thing. I'm not really a believer in the clone situation, but we'll know if that really happens. But that's what I believe happened. All that other stuff with him glitching out. No, nah, nah, he ain't glitching. He knows exactly what he's doing. And that's why he's putting this, this stuff out because this is information that they had given to him and let him know these are the events that were going to happen. Everything, everybody's a sacrifice, man. In order for this country to continue to progress, they have to sacrifice its people. They have to sacrifice, and this is why they try to do population control and all that good stuff, because they have to they have to sacrifice to keep everything pure and keep everything going. Sacrifices have been going on since the beginning of time. The ancients understood sacrifice. They understand sacrifice. The thing is, is us as a people don't understand sacrifice. The Kardashians are high witches, high witches but they will sacrifice around them. So be very careful who you're around. Be very careful. High witch is a controlling witch. So a high witch is like a high, like the, like the Pope. You got the Pope, then you got these priests, and then you got trickled on down communities of priests in different churches that all go to the Pope for authority. The Pope has no mm. authority. The Pope has no fucking authority. Stop believing this. We're men of God in the cloth. Who? Who says you're men of God? Who says you're men of God? What kind of a load of bullshit is that? Let God talk through you. You don't need that fucker in a skirt talking to you. And it's not that I don't believe in being Catholic. I don't believe in man-made church. And the Pope has his own country. And they don't stop people from harming people. Mm. They don't. Beyonce is a high witch as well. Beyonce is what's called what Marilyn Monroe was when they're passed around as a presidential, a diamonded presidential prostitute. So we know what goes on. There's no such thing as a, there's only one credit bureau in America. Everybody's aware of that, correct? One credit bureau, that's the CFPB. Those are credit agencies, so they're not credit bureaus. Credit agencies. All they do is acquire public information. You can, you can pump information about yourself in the public. Don't be scared of your credit score either. Because if you get denied, then you can get a letter of reconsideration. 
fill out something called a, um, uh, a certified financial statement. You get it, and this is a, you get your financial statement certified by an accountant. If that makes sense to everybody, because a credit score is not certified information. You that makes sense to everybody. Did y'all get that? Mm -hmm. All right. So if you get denied for credit, like y'all can go on Fiverr. Y'all know what Fiverr.com is? Mm -hmm. Everybody know what Fiverr.com is? Y'all can get grants on there too. <laughs> but you can get a bookkeeper or an accountant on there and get stuff certified. You can get some bank accounts certified, uh, uh, bank statements certified. You can create your own credit report. Certified financial statements. Yeah, I better peep it. Peep it and understand it. It's at this day and age where people just need to understand that the higher ups are higher ups for a reason. It's literally corruption. Corruption all over. This man, Ryan Garcia, was about to be inducted into Hollywood and he wasn't trying to go for that. I'm not going to talk about too much, but if you do your research, you'll see what I'm talking about. His tweets have been deleted left and right, and this is one of them right here. I've seen a few videos on TikTok, and it's honestly pretty disgusting. Not only is he tweeting that he's predicting earthquakes that are going to happen on June 6th, he says some pretty vulgar things when he was talking to Andrew Tate and when he was posting on X. He's been trying his best to leak whatever was going on out there. But obviously, like I said earlier in the video, these higher-ups are higher-ups for a reason. Now, if you see videos of him, he's literally just like washed. He's like, oh, I'm talking about nothing but boxing at this point and now they're trying to put a point that he's had a mental breakdown that's not the case they hit that man with the mk ultra it happened to wendy williams cat williams is trying to tell us like look bro weird stuff's going on yeah once they let you in and they let you see certain things they got and you start running your mouth yeah they gotta do something so yeah just look at all the ones that started running their mouth before they passed away if they are pat if they are dead that's what happens they they get mk ultra I'm not okay anymore. Soon my TikTok will be deleted. See? They're going to try to put me in jail. And they're going to kill me. Real me. All right, things are getting weird. For have you ever seen this Easter egg in the Book of Eli? For in the background, you have a poster saying the year is 2024. Now, why is this significant? Well, this movie came out in 2010. And if you don't know the plot, here it is. 30 years after war turned the world into a wasteland, a lone warrior named Eli, Denzel Washington, marches across the ruined landscape carrying hope for humanity's redemption. Only one other man, Gary Oldman, understands the power of what Eli carries, and he is mm. determined to take it for himself. Though Eli prefers peace, he will risk death to protect his precious cargo, for he must fulfill his destiny to help restore mankind. And here is a spoiler alert. So if you have not seen this movie, turn this video off now or skip a couple seconds. But the cargo that Eli is carrying is a Bible. It happens to be the last Bible in existence. So I just find it interesting that a movie about the apocalypse has an Easter egg poster in the background saying the year is 2024. And you have a dead individual lying right here with some type of ladder descending into the earth. Not sure what else to make of it. It's tough to tell, but what is going on? You see, you see what the movie did, right? It was entailing all these different things that were going to happen. And the reason why is because the people who wrote the movie, similar things happened to them, just like Ryan Garcia. They were inducted into Hollywood, uh, probably went to the BG. You know what that means. Uh, and they got told these upcoming events that were about to happen and they were like you know what we could put these in movies and nobody would even think things of it people would speculate but they would never have things on point you know and a lot and the movie and this movie was created way before all of this right so to so for that easter egg to be in the movie which had to mean that all these different things that are happening now was already planned way before this so, yeah, the difference is they're not on Twitter talking about it. They put it in a movie. So, yeah, same thing, man. Same difference. Shall we check in with our celebrities and see what they're up to? Hold on. This isn't even that bad. So, Chloe did a photo shoot for Tomorrow Magazine with an apple. Then there's this picture. 
I showed this to a couple people and they said, what's the big deal? First off, the big deal is that this doesn't trigger many people. We are in a world, we are in a time where we are so surrounded by evil and so conditioned to seeing evil that we don't even recognize it anymore. This moment in time, this act right here is the single moment that contributed to the fall of mankind. Eve ate the apple because of a lie that Satan told her. And now they're taking that moment that represents sin and making artwork out of it. Mm. If this doesn't, this is just, when I saw this, my jaw dropped because it's so, it's just so nonchalant for so many people. It's not even making headlines. Nobody's really talking about it because to most people, it's like, what's the big deal? It's representing the fall of mankind. This is the fall of mankind right here. For her to model it, for her to make artwork out of it, um, it's so sad. And here we are, a few thousand years later, all walking around with a phone in our hands that has an apple on the back with a bite out of it. But you know what's crazy? Even crazier is that she's speaking as if evil doesn't suppose to exist. That is the cycle of life. That is balance, right? So with, there wouldn't be no good without no evil. You know, there wouldn't be no uh, positive without no negative. It's supposed to happen. Now, the issue is, is that we are sitting here and letting evil prevail. And instead of doing something about it, you know, we're making videos talking about it. And you expect some sort of uprising, from doing a video no man people respond to action if they see you doing something about it then people gonna know it's real okay it's time to get up and do something about it but hey it is what it is i was gonna say this video but i'm just gonna say it. we've been looking at the solar eclipse this whole time y'all i don't know if you guys noticed that if you did good um that trending video last week right we all want they wanted us to see that the whole crescent being on the bottom that was the main topic last week was the crescent being on the bottom they made us think that instead of thinking, hey, that fucking moon looks like a solar eclipse about to happen, right? Because I remember this video, I was looking through it, and that, this was like last week, literally. I remember that shadow or the rock or whatever it's in front of the moon was going down really fast and was about to black it out. I was like, what the fuck? And then this fucking, you know, this cloud, this ninja fucking cloud, it was clear, it was clear as fuck last, you know, at that night. It was probably like 2 a.m. It was clear. Um, and... This fucking cloud comes in, covers it up like a ninja. Out of nowhere, I didn't even see it. I was like, damn, that, that was quick. Blacked it out, nothing. I couldn't see the fucking moon anymore. But I could see the stars around it, but the moon disappeared. It was weird. But anyways, here's that trending video I was talking about, right? It looks exactly like a solar eclipse. I don't know if you saw that picture in the beginning, right before this. It looks just like it. What if we've been looking at the solar eclipse the whole time? Because, look, I have nah. other videos of the moon getting big as fuck and almost turning into a fucking solar eclipse, yo. The moon was set at 3 a.m. this whole week. It was crazy to me. Yeah, no, nah, because I, when I saw that, you remember, I did a video talking about how I saw that moon with the uh, crescent at the bottom. Um, but I could still see the craters even on the dark part of the moon. So it couldn't have been a, a solar eclipse because then I wouldn't have been able to see the moon at all. Right. Cause there would have been another planet blocking it. Correct. That's what a solar eclipse is. So yeah, nah, that, I don't believe that. What y'all think? Somebody please tell me what the chances are that two people with a very similar background come out within the last 48 hours and both say there's going to be a black swan event or one's coming really soon. This is Ron Paul. We're reaching this point where uh, some sudden thing is going to happen. I believe I believe in that theory of the black swan. Yes. It's going to pop up and uh, it, it's not going to be controllable. But people, you ask, what can they do? I think... What can we do? Be aware. Next, General Flynn. I just think... We call them black swan events, right? Black swan events are things that nobody imagined could occur, and yet they did, right? And and, and they and they you know and then they have these incredibly, uh, mostly devastating effects. So I just think. So what do you think both these guys are pointing to? Remember, their background is extremely similar, and they both came out and said this at the same time. Meanwhile, I can't tell you if this is true or not. Just speculation. Someone pointed out, why did her foot 
break and split behind the wire. It looks really weird. Mm. And then allegedly new pictures of Prince William came out. And look at the hands. Is that not artificial intelligence? Kind of like how they released this fake picture. This kind of stuff just does not happen in a normal world. And also there's an investigation at the hospital where she was where someone tried to pry into her medical records. What do y'all think? Was that her in that video? Also, a reporter for BBC said that they know her personally and that it was not her. Again, their words, not mine. Just because we don't have tanks all around and missiles flying by and boots on the ground and guns going off doesn't mean that we're not at war. The war we're about to see on our own soil is not going to be a Saving Private Ryan movie. It's going to be attack of our infrastructure, bank account, the food that we eat. This, I'm afraid, is just an example of what's to come in the next few months getting closer to the election. We like to call them black swan events. I mean, this bridge was not small. You're talking four lanes with a median. Pretty fucking big-ass bridge. And it fell apart like it was glued toothpicks. Now that that's blocked, all of these people are going to suffer in Washington, D.C. and Maryland. I mean, that is a major infrastructure hit right there. Reports mm. are saying that the power kept going on and off of this ship. But it did a full U-turn before this happened. And then, that's not a slight turn. That's a hard right. Gotta love replay. Could you imagine if they tried to pull a 9-11 in 2024 with our 4K phones, everybody recording? Not possible. Things gotta look like accidents like this. And who do you think is gonna get hired to rebuild that bridge for cheap? It's not gonna be U.S. citizens. Uh, facts. Right? It's only March. We have plenty of time for more accidents to come. Oh, the eclipse on April 8th is gonna fucking... Pop it. Pop it. It's... <laughs> I'm waiting. I'll do a video on that. I'm waiting. Out there... Eclipse is on April 8th. Yes, it's it's actually there's windows of opportunity on the 20th and 21st of April to it's amidst various reports of King Charles's on aliving. Oh my God, is King Charles dead? The king passed away unexpectedly yesterday afternoon. Buckingham Palace puts out a rather bizarre picture of the king. Mind you, mm. this comes on the heels of an equally bizarre public appearance by Kate Middleton. Folks, there's no question we are witnessing the destruction of the old guard right before our very eyes. Let me talk to him. And with Trump set to usher in the new era of Camelot upon returning to office, it's no secret why the powers that be are trying to assassinate Trump both in the media. Headlines calling it a, quote, bloodbath. 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 And physically. Donald Trump loves this country. And boy, are they trying to assassinate this man. But if you've read the book called Baron Trump's Marvelous Underground Journey. Baron Trump's Marvelous Underground Journey. You guys are afraid of the wrong Trump. Hey, if you know, you know. Nah, facts. I said in an earlier video that his son is actually him from the past. So I don't know. I think the Donald Trump we know now is just the front man. And his son is actually the, the brains because they say his IQ is off the charts. I don't know. What y'all think, though? Dear world, I have been told by many that the releasing of this truth may pose certain challenges in my life. But there are many institutions that this truth will be viewed as disruptive to their system of profit and gains. I want to live a happy and peaceful life, and I'll pray for longevity. Not just for me, but for our entire species. Know that I would never harm myself nor anyone else for that matter. Nevertheless, my life has to face certain challenges so that this planet can be saved. Please do not let these trials that I may have to face be in vain and pray for me as I am praying for you. Sincerely, Terrence Deshaun Howard, May 25th, 2019. Just so that it would always be known, you know, I should never walk out there alone or harm myself. So if something happens to me and someone says that um, he committed, and he did know. I would never ever do that. Know that somebody else did that. This was 2019. We need to ask ourselves why is wow. this being released in 2024? They God man. God man, it makes you think like who is this country being run by? No, who is this world being run by? Where they want to get like literally like wipe people out because they're letting out certain truths. 
what what would it hurt if people know knew the truth sometimes y'all y'all has got to go if if you know if if you know telling the truth will put the people in a frenzy and make them want to hurt you for hurting the people you should accept that accept your fate because that's just what it is man but but just murdering people though damn Say it out here, bro. All right, listen, the container ship dropped anchor. That's why the hard right turn into that support structure. True. Yeah, the ship did drop anchor. On the port side, the left. If it dropped anchor on the starboard side, then maybe you could attribute this hard right turn to that, sure. But it didn't. This also doesn't make a whole lot of sense. This is the route that the ship took leaving port. And this is the point where it turned right into the bridge. All you would see is the bow of the ship, the front. Mm -hmm. But here you can clearly see the starboard side. And this is more than just a, a slight right turn, anchor or not, right? Not to mention the detonation points at the top of the bridge. I mean, that do make sense because if it came from the dock from the other side and made a U-turn, then it, that should have been a straightaway shot. He shouldn't have had to make a right turn. It's like he was aiming for it. I don't know, man. What if the ship's controls got hacked into and, and that's what happened? Like, I don't think the people that controlled the ship actually did that on purpose. I don't believe that. No. Leave the world behind, maybe? Here and here. We're not explosions, though. Look, believe what you want, but this is a situation that has a lot of questions surrounding it. They've already come back and said that the six that were missing are presumed to be gone. It's a tragic event, and we need answers. And the impact to the area is going to be long-lasting, no matter what way you look at it. It's crazy. I didn't know that they said the six that were on the ship were missing. So were there nobody were there no bodies on the ship at all? Because if that's the case, then guess what? It was electronically controlled is the only other answer. I hate. It's a lot of weird stuff, bro. A lot of weird stuff. I'm pretty sure we all know what's in those containers on those cargo ships. It's no secret. Watch this. So y'all ready to know why? Yeah, no. I'm going to just watch it, though. I'm pretty sure we all know what's in those containers on those cargo ships. It's no secret. Watch this. So y'all ready to know why Barack was over in England recently with Kate Middleton sick and Charles and all of them? Y'all ready to know why? This right here. Harry has been named in the Diddy Docks and his brother standing right behind him. Wow. Okay, you think Kate, you think Megan, a.k.a. Ashley, or Ashley, a.k.a. Megan, didn't know? Yeah, I'm willing to bet that uh, his name comes out in the wash on this one, too. <laughs> you know, like it didn't come out on many others. We're watching this movie play out as it was supposed to. As I've always said, aiding and abetting human trafficking, it has consequences. Still think she has the cancers? Still think Charles has the cancer? I guess he was just there giving his condolences, right? And then now, yesterday, well, this morning at 1.30, the man that wrote the Star Spangled Banner, the bridge that was named after him, collapsed. Yeah. Mm. Do you remember when Donald Trump posted on Tree Social and said that he would not be able to protect Harry and that he wasn't going to? What do you think that had to do with? Hmm? Because as it stands right now, he would be the only one willing to do anything because he, too, is in it. Along with that handsome fella right there. Yeah, there's William. Partying it up at a blackmail party. You know, sure, they go to the shows, but they go to the after parties. Don't, don't play. Don't play dumb. Look at that. Look at that shit, dog. Sabrina, hurry, hurry. Come. Holy shit, dog! It's a fucking meteor! It's a fucking meteor, dog! 
Holy shit, where'd it go? Oh my god. It's not no oh meat. It's not god, a meteor. That was fucking sick. Skydivers. Dog, that's aliens. That's what alien. The fuck is that? That's aliens coming to the fucking Tyler. What? What the Tyler. fuck is that? Tyler. What the fuck is Tyler. that? Tyler. What the fuck is you going on? They're first. going sideways. They're going sideways. They ain't even falling no more. <laughs> hey, look at this green dot on my camera, Tyler. Look at the green dot. Bro. Look at the bro. green dot. I see it. Chill out. Tyler, man. what the fuck is going on? They're standing there. They're hovering there. Look, they're red. They're red. They're red. They're red. They're red. What the fuck, dude? I got that Those shit on ain't video. meteors, bro. Look, no, that no. one's flying sideways. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Well, they thought we was Tyler. being invaded. Tyler. Holy shit. What is going on right now? What the Oh my fuck? god. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're zigzagging. <laughs> yeah, dude, the what sky. the fuck is going on right now? That is a meteor. Sabrina, get your ass over here. That, that is no a meteor. fucking oh, man, get over here. Get oh door. my god. Where'd they go? Oh my god. Sabrina, get your ass over here. <laughs> oh my god. It was like a Damn. at first. That was cool. Dude, that's motherfucking alien. What the fuck is that? <laughs> that is fucking aliens, dog. How many days after the, the light? How many are we like three days after, remember, the, the Phoenix light? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. What the fuck was that? I wish I had Tyler, these things are flying, what bro. What the fuck is that in the sky? It's flying. Look, that one just appeared out of nowhere. Look at that. Go lay pink. Right here. Dude, look at the fucking formation, Go bro. Lay. She's inside. Oh, man. Now it looks like an alien one. <laughs> From the flashlight. I don't get it. I don't get it either. How am I just seeing Put it back. circles? How are we seeing the shadow of the tree? It's foggy. From the flashlight when it's the sky behind the tree. There's literally no sky there. That is fog. And why is there a stop point at the end of my flashlight when it's pointed at the sky? Why isn't it going on farther? Like, what the fuck is this? Don't cuss. I'm sorry. It doesn't make any sense. Wow. You can see the shadow. Maybe I'm just dumb and I just don't get it. You see the shadow. There's a fucking shadow in the sky. You can see the shadow. <laughs> Let me see if I can zoom. There's a shadow. And like, I don't get it. You're Why? going too fast, honey. Why? Okay. Can we see the circle of light. I don't feel like I've ever seen that before in my life. I don't think I have either. Not in the sky. It just kind of disappears, you know? I wonder if I'm standing in front of the house if I could see this. You guys, oh my god, watch this. So you're telling me, for the right amount of money, you are being pursued by the federal government, you can send a decoy airplane to go a total different direction with your name as being on board that airplane. Uh. And meanwhile, the, the government tells demands that airplane to land thinking that you are on that airplane trying to flee the country. And while they, you know, believe you are on this private jet, it lands and you're not there. Huh. You are really on another airplane, which they have no idea where and what airplane you are on exiting the country. Do you know what I'm talking about? Well, Due to recent events, someone is heading somewhere where they cannot be extradited back to the United States to face their actions. You will probably mm. never, ever see this man step foot on U.S. soil again. He's not the first to do it. There are other celebrities 
that have gone down for nefarious things, but they do a little something different. Do you know what that is? These people whistleblowers will fake their yeah, that too. Right? And make everyone think that they no longer exist. Meanwhile, they are somewhere living on a private island with all their money, chefs, everything you can possibly think of, and everybody thinks they're no longer here. Mm. Everything you see in this world is not really what it is. There's many things that are that deceive the human eye. Evil people who have money are able to escape justice because they have the funds. This is not little money. They have the funds to create a whole new identity. Some have even changed their face with plastic surgery. You know what? I'm going to say this and I'm going to leave it here. You know, it's wild to think that the same person who was accused for taking out a certain person that everybody thinks is still alive and who's in another country just living his best life. It is crazy to think that the man that is accused of taking that guy out did something similar to evade being you know, prosecuted for his wrongdoings, right? But it ain't too far fetched. What if he knows that the guy that he took out is actually on an island somewhere living his best life and he was given the information on how to do it himself when things came falling down. But see, the thing about it is us little people would never know if that's really a thing or not. We can speculate, but we'll never actually know the truth. And I also ask, is this what we really should be worried about? Is it a distraction like the rest of this stuff? What's really going to happen? Should we really be scared of the April 8th solar eclipse? Or should we look deeper and find something else? I don't know. Do you? But like I always say, do what you will with that information. And hey, if you like what you saw, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you know when I upload. And remember, challenge the argument and not the person.